Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. So today I'm going to be sharing with you eight different outfits that you could wear on a date night or you could also wear on a night out with your friends or for dinner, drinks, that kind of thing. As always, I just wanna remind you guys that I'm definitely not encouraging you to go out and buy all the pieces I'm gonna share with you today. In fact, I would actually suggest that you have a look at what you already have in your wardrobe before you go buy new things and see if you can potentially recreate these looks with pieces that you already have. A lot of you guys mentioned that you would love to see the outfits in image form so that it might be easier for you to recreate them and refer back to them so I actually took a little mirror selfie of all the outfits I'm going to show you today and I will upload all of them to my Pinterest so if you guys want to see the outfits in image form I will leave my Pinterest in the description box below so you can check them out there if you would like anyways I'm just going to get started with the looks now and I'll see you guys on the other end of this video so this first outfit is perfect for a date night or a night out with your friends. I think it is dressy, but it is still super comfortable and chic and very easy to wear. So here I'm wearing my cream Le Club top from Orson awesome Iris, my row 32 inch weekday store jeans, a little black croc leather bag from By Far, and my favorite 80 square toe boot heels. I think for a look like this, you could easily swap the top for any silky cream blouse or a crop top. And of course you could absolutely mix up the jeans to be either black or blue. I think this outfit would also work really well with a black leather pant, so if you already had them in your wardrobe, you could definitely try swapping the jeans for these instead. The best thing about this outfit is that it actually looks really great with a jacket over the top as well. So here I've added a new cropped fake leather jacket I got in this week from Let Apt. I love this look with this jacket, but you could also add a black blazer, a denim jacket, or really any cropped leather jacket that you already had in your wardrobe. So this next look is again perfect for a date night or a night out with your friends, especially during spring summer. There is nothing better than popping on a little black dress during the warmer weather and this one, which is linen, is absolutely perfect. The dress is from St. Agni. My bag is my padded cassette bag from Bottega, which you guys have seen me style a million times before. And I'm wearing my new 80 boots, which I showed you in my last two videos. On a colder night, or if you wanted to be a little bit more covered up, you could absolutely add a jacket to this look. So here I've added my fake leather jacket from the Frankie store, which I got in this week, and I was showing you in much more detail in my most recent vlog. I think to help achieve this look, I would recommend going for an oversized jacket up top and have it sit at almost the same length as the skirt or the dress underneath, sort of like I have done here. You can absolutely do this with whatever pieces you already have in your wardrobe though. And if you didn't have a leather jacket, swapping this out for an oversized blazer would work really well. Well too. And lastly, if it was a cooler night, you could of course add black stockings to this look as well as a thin long sleeve top underneath the dress. So next up is a slightly more casual night out look. This one would be perfect if you were catching up in the afternoon for a drink and the catch up might lead into the evening. I would definitely wear something like this for drinks with my friends or even a more casual date night where I still wanted to look nice but I didn't want to be too overdressed. So here I'm wearing a little grey crop top, my high-waisted dark navy blue jeans from A Goldie, the same 80 boots as earlier and the croissant bag from La Mer. On a cooler night, you could of course also sub in a jacket. I have opted to pair this look with my oversized grey blazer from Arquette. I love how it is all grey on top and then darker on the bottom. I think not only is this very flattering, but definitely makes it feel a little bit more evening than what a lighter blue denim jean would achieve. If it was a cooler night, you could also add in a thick winter coat to pop on top of this outfit and you could change the crop top for a long sleeve turtleneck top instead. I would recommend sticking to darker colors or gray to achieve a similar look to what I have created here. So this next look is super dressy. I would definitely wear something like this to a cocktail dress code event, such as a ball or other evening celebrations. Back when I used to go to nighttime events all the time, I would have absolutely worn something like this to a fancy dinner event or something like that. Here I am wearing my black Orson Iris slip dress, my under the knee boots from 80 and my Paco Rabanne gold sequin purse. I am obsessed with this dress as it is so versatile and as I'm sure I've told you guys before, it can actually be worn as either a midi, mini or maxi dress depending on how you adjust the straps on the side, which is just amazing and so versatile for so many different occasions. I have opted to style it here as a midi dress, but if you wanted to see it styled a few different ways, just check back on some of my last style videos or on the Orson Iris Instagram page. If you wanted to achieve a similar look but didn't have all these pieces I would recommend any smaller statement bag would work granted it feels more evening and less daytime and really any simple slip dress in a darker color would definitely help achieve a similar look you could also swap the shoes for black or skin tone heels instead 
So this next look I think would be perfect for quite a number of different occasions. I think that it is comfortable enough that you could easily wear something like this for daytime and nighttime events, dates or outings. Here I'm wearing the same weekday store jeans as earlier except these ones are in blue, my 80 sling back heels, another beautiful top from Orson Iris and my same Bottega handbag. The good thing about this top is that you can actually have the buttons sitting in the front or in the back. It is really up to you and how you want to style it. For me this outfit is all about the details, the beautiful sleeve detail on the top, the jeans sitting over the heels and the perfect black bag to complete the look really is what brings it all together for me. But you could absolutely recreate this look with any soft silk blouse that you have in your wardrobe, any straight leg blue jeans that are more on the longer side and a simple black heel. I would recommend going for a bag which matches your shoes to ensure that the outfit looks put together but if you wanted to mix it up you could instead opt for a more dressier evening bag as well. I love this next look so much and used to wear something of this variety quite a lot back when I was attending events before lockdown. Here I'm wearing a black blazer from Le Apt. It is no longer available, but I will definitely link something similar below. A lacy black bra, my black totem trousers, my chain pouch bag from Bottega, and my Louis Vuitton platform shoes. I love wearing a relaxed suit like this to a variety of different occasions, but you could absolutely wear something like this to a date night or a night out with your friends. If you wanted this look to be a little bit dressier, you could swap the shoes for heels or heeled boots and if you didn't have trousers that worked with your blazer you could also swap this to a black skinny leg jean instead as for the shoes again you could swap these for any black chunky platform shoes or boots that you have in your wardrobe this is a versatile look and it is just about mixing and matching it to suit the occasion and the vibe that you're going for so next up I'm wearing the same black blazer from La Apt, a black mini skirt from Zara, my weekday store white singlet, my boots and bag are both from By Far, and my absolute dream stockings from Chanel. These were actually a gift from Chanel and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. A few of you guys had asked me on Instagram how I would style these for every day and this outfit is definitely the answer to that question. Obviously this isn't a look that you could wear just anywhere, it is on the dressier side, probably suit evening or dressy daytime events best. But nonetheless, I love them styled like this with a really simple monochrome look. I think the stockings are such a statement. The last thing you want to do is draw any attention away from them. So sticking with something really simple and classic like this look works perfectly. Obviously, these stockings are definitely on the pricier side. So if you wanted to recreate this look but didn't want to invest in designer stockings, you could absolutely sub in a simple black stocking or even play around with a pattern stocking. I love black ribbed stockings for winter, but really I think that the outfit is simpler enough that a lot of different stockings would really work here. The only thing I personally wouldn't wear is anything too colorful as I think the look might end up feeling a little bit less dressy and chic and elegant but of course it is totally up to you. And the last look is arguably the most casual outfit that I want to show you today. Whilst Melbourne is still very much in lockdown, the only date nights we can really go to are to our local park or grab a takeaway pizza and eat it in the street somewhere or something like that. So I figured I better add in a more casual outfit that would work for these kind of occasions. Of course, this look would also work for any casual date night or drinks out or that kind of thing. It just depends on where you're going that night. I would also wear something like this if Nick and I were going to the movies or drive in cinema for the night as I think it's nice enough that I'd still feel a little bit dressed up, but I'm also very comfortable. So here I'm wearing my By Far boots. The dress is from Realization Par, the same white weekday shirt I always wear. And my bag is from St. Agni, which I showed you guys in a lot more detail in my recent vlog. If you didn't have these exact pieces, I would say any floral mini dress or skirt with a white singlet and tee would work well here as well. And also any basket bag or tote bag that is more on the casual side, I think will also help achieve a similar vibe. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!